So I can tell you that most of the people can do a perfect research on PubMed. However, a few of them know how to save the, the results on PubMed okay, effectively. Okay, so I have different ways here to save. The first one is the clipboard, okay? Because we may, you may expect yourself doing different researches. So if you are interested by this, for example, these articles from here, for here, I can first do, go to huh, clipboard. Very nice, clipboard. And then suppose that I did another search, just returning back to another topic. Another topic, give me another topic. Give me another topic. I did another research, okay, uh, from, from here. And just consider this a relevant research, but I'm giving you an example. Okay, add, I'm just clicking here. If you click here, I will go to this interface. I, I, and then I choose those, I choose those, and then add to, then collect everything on, huh? Clipboard, if I choose, uh, where is the free, yes. If we choose this for example, this is the available, it is one available one. If we see free text here. And then go, go, sometimes I can find the whole article here, okay, or I can open the, where is the PDF, PDF. Search for the PDF, open access, review, download. This is a th download, I think, what is download? Yes, yes, full text PDF, abstract, H HTML, -A. if it is, you wanna hear it in, uh, the available, the whole, the whole uh, article is here. If you go to references, for example, it will be, as I said, relevant reference, okay? I wanna this one, click on PubMed. It opens for me and another interface. And then I wanted to choose this one. Huh? Add to clipboard. Add it to clipboard. Okay? And then I'm going to close this one. Thank you for this, for this one. I need another one. So another one. It will open, it opens another huh? interface for the PubMed. So continue doing research, continue add until you finish. I'm finished now. I'm on clipboard. Okay, go to the clipboard. I will find the seven items here. Can 15 or 20 or whatever. I have to save them. The first thing is on your page. This is very important by the way. The first thing that I do, I'm making a collection. Okay, add to collections. And then it, switch, it switches me to my, my page. And then create a new collection. I will write, for example, Tam Solution in PBH, benign prostatic hyperplasia and hypotension, for example. Hypotension, okay? And this is, I create it and save it. It's now on my page as a collection. If I go to my page, okay, I will find the last collection here. Go down. This is all my collection, this is the last one, which is huh, BBH and hypotension. In any time, I can click it, okay, switches for me to the seven articles that I have. Okay, this is the first perfect option. In, <laughs> and you are in the library, you finished, you finished in library and then, okay, finish, don't go. Just send them to a collection and go home, you will find them on your page. The second thing is, I wanted to email them, okay, to myself or another colleagues, okay? You can write the email for your friend, or you can write for myself, M.M. Al Audi, okay? You can write here, for example, BBH, B9, Bersetic, Hyperbilisia, and Hypotension, Hypotension. And you can add another one if you want, okay? And then email, you may expect in your email after a few minutes. Another one, okay. I don't use order, file, and collection, okay. My, bi my bibliography, it is your, it is your uh, publications. If you find this is your publication, you can add it on your bibliography. If I add it, for example, this one to bibliography, add to, 
bibliography, my bibliography, it will be added to my bibliography, personal bibliography. Uh, I, I have to save here first. Yes. It's uh, here, al awadi al awadi but this one is just I show to you. This is the last one just added here on your bibliography. Okay. Uh, going back again. Going back. Uh, clipboard. Okay. I want to now to save it to, huh, what the thing? Citation manager. Very important now. Just create file. I am created the file now. It's number 35. Okay. I have to go on citation manager now. Citation manager. Which from what? The website. Again? From where you save it as a citation manager? Citation manager. Save as? Citation manager. Okay. Okay? Type, okay. Go to now my endnote. Endnote. I open endnote. Just I prepare for one for the course. And this is the endnote for the course. Do you remember the endnote? As I told you asked me in the beginning, huh? what's the function of endnote? Import and then manage and then export. So the first job here is import. What do you see here? Import. Be sure because in the in the in the beginning you have to if you if you use the Scobus as a research engine you have to you have to add Scobus here. If you if you bring your citations from PubMed you have to. You have to choose here PubMed. The first, as a first user, you, may, you will not find PubMed. Make sure to change it. How to change it? Go here. You will not find PubMed. Other filters, and you can write here PubMed. Okay. PubMed. You will find it and choose it. This is a frequent mistake for all the beginners. Okay. And then choose, and then going to downloads, 35, import. No, I didn't choose. <laughs> I did the I did the mistake. <laughs> I did the mistake by myself. Alhamdulillah. Yes, it imports for me now the the seven citations or the seven differences. Just hold now. I will not speak about citation manager now. Just going again to the PubMed file. So what I do is file, and then. Just do it abstracts, change it to abstracts, and create file. This is the, uh, it will be the uh, text file. Go to the downloads. You see this file? Open it. The old abstracts. I usually take them, control C, control V to a word file. And then I put them, I send it to my tablet or my iPad, or I can, I can print them because I wanted to read them carefully after this. Okay? This is the... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the seven, huh? Seven, one, control end. The seven, uh, the last one. Okay? Okay. We saved, we used, we used now clipboard, we used the collection, we used the citation manager, we used the email, we used the file, we used my bibliography. This is the different options of saving. Uh, in a summary, number one, have an account. It's very, very important to save your search. And then if you left the PubMed anywhere, you can retrieve the search from any access. Please put in your mind on doing any job on your PubMed. Put in your mind three jobs. Job number one, doing a relevant search by cutting a relevant search. Okay, and then limit your search and finally save your search. Job number one is doing a relevant search. What can help you? Number one is using keywords exactly. And then, do you remember? Use formulate a question using PICO population, intervention, comparison or control, and then outcome. Number three is 
Boolean operator exactly using and or or not. I'm using frequently and less frequently or I didn't use not too much. And then something which is missed by many people, mesh. Don't go to the library, but go directly to the index. And going to the index will save your time for sure. What's number job number two? Limit your search. Go to the left column on the bottom map. This this column is very helpful to limit your search. And don't forget this box by clicking on show additional filters. Frequent mistake really by, done by many people doing research only on free text article on PubMed. PubMed is not an engine to bring for you all the text article. It brings for you all the abstracts. If you do this, you may miss a very important article. Uh, I wanted to tell you that most most of the people are doing amazing search on PubMed. However, a few of them know how to save the search effectively. So if you go to the PubMed, just click here on this button, send to this box appears to you. So uh, uh, here there are two ways of, of, uh, of saving the search, temporary and permanently. Uh, for temporarily saving, Clipboard gives you this option. It, give, it, it saves your search while you are working on the, uh, on the PubMed. And after you finish, finally, go to the clipboard and then you have now to save the search, your search permanently. So the first thing I usually do is I'm sending them to collections. So click on collections. It will be saved on your page. Okay. And then the second thing I can send them to citation manager. I can use them uh, later on in, in the note. And also, if I'm interested to read the articles or the abstract, I save them as files and then I print them to be read later on. And the less frequently, you can email them to yourself or your friends. And if those articles are published by you, you can add them to your bibliography. Those are the options to save your, uh, uh, your search on PubMed. So uh, finally, uh, I think now you have a good knowledge about PubMed. I think also you, you have learned now how to do relevant search and cutting irrelevant search. Uh, also, you have learned how to limit your search and also you learned how to save your search. Thank you so much and the best of luck for all. Thank you.